Okay, we're looking at 24x squared minus 1x minus 10, and we need to factor it. So there's different ways to factor, um, but the, the method that I prefer when you have something in front of x squared, um, other than just plain old 1, is to multiply these two numbers, which would make it 200, negative 240. And then I look for factors of 240. Um, factors just mean two numbers that multiply to be this number. So for example, 40 and 60 equal 240, but one of them would have to be negative to get the negative 240. Another pair would be 12 and 20. Again, make one of them negative. Uh, let's see what else. Um, 2 will definitely go into 240, so 2 and 120. One of them should be negative. 3 goes in, 3 and 80. 4 and 60. Um, so let's start looking at these pairs. If we were to add them together, what we want to get is negative 1 because that's our middle number and right now we're not anywhere near that so negative 40 and 60 is 20 negative 12 and 20 is 8 um, negative 2 and 120 is 118 negative 3 and 80 77 and negative 4 and 60 is um, 56 so the pairs that we've picked um, all equal to 40, but none of them are getting us close to negative 1. To get close to negative 1, the two numbers would have to just be 1 apart. So you want to start trying to think of numbers that are close together. Um, we weren't too far with a negative 12 and 20. When we add those together, we get 8. Um, so we want to try to find something a little bit better. So I'm going to um, erase these pairs. Actually, I think I'll just shrink it. It'll be easier. Okay, so those pairs are no good. Um, let's see, two numbers that are close together that multiply to be 240. Well, we had 12. What about 13? Nope, that won't go into 240. How about 14? Well, if I take 240 divided by 14 on my calculator, I get 17 point something. It doesn't go any evenly. So let's try 16. Aha! 16 and 15 multiply to be 240. We need one of them to be negative, so we want the larger one to be negative because when we add them together, we get negative 1. Now we're ready. We have our two, we'll call these our two special numbers. Um, because what we're going to do is take the original problem. So we had 24x squared minus 1x minus 10. And we're just going to change this minus 1x to negative 16x plus 15x. Now think about that. If you add those together, you get the same thing. So the problem hasn't changed. We're just making it look different. Now, it might seem kind of complicated so far because it did take us a little time to find the, the special pair that worked. Most of the problems aren't that difficult to find. Um, but if they are, just keep plugging away at it, keep dividing it by different numbers to see what works. So now we're going to go back to factoring by grouping. Split the problem up into two pieces. Factor out the greatest common factor on each piece. So we can take 4x out here and we get, a, oh actually we can take more than that, my bad. We can actually take an 8x out and we end up with 3x minus 2. On this one we can take a 5 out and you need to put plus or minus 5 there because that's going to 
affect the rest of the problem. So that's 3x minus 2 again. As long as these two guys are the same, yeah, let me grab another color here, you're good. That means you're on the right track. So we are just about done this problem now. Um, so the 3x minus 2 and the 3x minus 2 are the same, so they can come out. And then what's left is the 8x plus 5. So that's it. This is your answer. Now remember you can check it by foiling. So you always know if it's correct or not.